we have the tiniest, tiniest little baby in Nyala that mom has left hidden on the edge of the Mawati River. You can see it's still wobbly on the legs. I don't think this little Nyala is more than 24 hours old and it's not uncommon for Nyala to hide their babies in thickets like this. I was lying down can see where he's been lying down for a long time, or she, difficult to tell at this age. We're not going to spend too long here, I don't want to disturb its hiding spot. Oh, it looks like it's going to lie down again, there we go. Now, it curls up into a little ball, and the cat, there we go, he's going to curl into a little ball now. Oh, look at that! That's a little fuzzy, tiny, tiny little Inyala. So its defense against predators at this age is to keep absolutely still and t curl up into a little ball. So even if a lion or leopard comes, it's not going to run, it's going to stay still. It doesn't have the speed to get away from a predator at this age. And mom cannot stay with it all the time, so she has to go out and feed. And they generally choose wonderful little spots like this to hide. Now I'm going to get Brian to zoom out. And we're on super zoom, which is over a thousand mils, hey Brian? Uh, no, it's not that. Actually, no. Maybe. I think it's around a thousand millimeters, so super zoom. Now you can see, look, as you come out, it disappears completely. Now, for an animal like a lion or a leopard that relies on movement when it's hunting, now, if that little one's curled up in a ball in the base of a thicket like that, there's a good chance that that predator is just going to walk past and not see it. So small. Now mom will come back normally about twice or three times a day so it can suckle. There we go, it's getting into that position. See, so tuck its head in. Its ears are obviously still out and about, but there we go, that's its defensive position. We're not going to spend too much time here, we're just going to let this little one curl up into a ball and uh, stay, stay safe and stay hidden, and we're going to carry on moving through the Mawati. There we go, good little Inyala disappearing, and we're going to do the same. Bye little guy. And uh, we did notice something else a little bit further down the river, which fingers crossed is still there. Um, and uh, it is also a newborn, but it's a newborn adult. So insects quite often come out of their cocoon and have more than one birth.